To execute the ALAR ligament test for upper C-spine instability, the clinician will first ask the patient to assume a sitting position. I currently have my patient not facing you for the purposes of visualization. What the clinician will want to do is to identify the spinous process or the bifid spinous process of C2. To do that, I'm going to go off of his inion or his occipital protuberance and I'm going to drop down and the first spinous process I identify is C2. What you're going to want to utilize is a pincher grip <coughs> in order to grab C2 and the firmer the better as far as assessing the movement at C2. The ALAR ligament then will be stressed by passively side flexing your patient both directions. As a clinician, you're going to want to be examining for movement of the C2 spinous process, the coupled movement with respect to the ALAR ligament being stretched. If movement is not found by the clinician, that's indicative of ALAR ligament instability and the patient should be referred out to either confirm or disconfirm this finding.